Hey comic book fans, my nerdy friends, and my geeky compadres, what's going on? It's Wednesday, again, and I have some stuff to show you, so we're just going to get to it. Okay, so today's been kind of crappy. Um, I don't know. I I'm, I'm had a rough day at work, so I'm not really feeling much right now. But uh, I did pick up some stuff this week, and I want to show you. So first off, actually, I'm going to show you some stuff that my in-laws picked up for me. They uh, spent the last couple months in Hawaii, and they wanted to, to give me something. Uh, so they uh, saw a street artist and had him draw a Batman uh, picture for me so that's cool nobody like well known at all just some dude on the street drawing stuff so got me a Batman and then they also got me uh, this cool like metal I don't know if you can hear that uh, reproduction of Batman number one um, Pretty awesome. I gotta find a place to put it though. Uh, so I don't really have a place picked out right yet uh, down here, but it'll be up. And we'll get to the new books that I got this week. Uh, just two. It actually, originally it was only gonna be one. It was gonna be uh, just Constantine the Hellblazer issue nine. Um, but I spent some time walking around my shop and. Uh, the manager of the shop, she kind of suggested this. She, I don't know if she knew that I was kind of shitty in a mood, uh, but she said, if you're in the mood for like a funny, just one-off book, um, pick this up. So I picked up Hank Johnson, agent of Hydra. Um, and then another girl who was at the shop said, you know, if you like, if you end up liking this, check out Superior Foes of Spider-Man. And I was like, well, I was picking that up when it was coming out. I loved it. And she was like, oh, it's the same kind of humor and stuff. So uh, hopefully this will do the trick and pick me up a little bit. Uh, that's it for the new stuff. I have three back issues to show you. Nothing super fancy, just hole fillers, I guess. Uh, so we have the Mighty Thor 378, more Simons and Thor, and 371. Got those. I think he was just the writer on that on the title at that time. And then I also picked up Daredevil, The Man Without Fear, issue two. I think I've got two more issues to pick up and have that many finished off. Um, did pick up a bunch of trades this week. Um, so here we go. I uh, picked up the first two trades of this title. I still haven't read it yet, but I ended up seeing the rest of them there uh, at Second and Charles and decided to just might as well pick them all up. So uh, we got the Book of Magic, uh, Reckonings. This is volume three. Transformations, which is volume four. Girl in the Box, which is volume five. The first time I looked... Um, when I picked up the first two volumes, they didn't have volume five or they just had it in a different area. Uh, this one I found actually, uh, on a different shelf apart from the rest of them. So, uh, once I found this, I was like, Oh, well then I'll just pick up the rest. So volume five, uh, the burning girl, volume six and death after death, volume seven. So I have that entire thing in trade now. And, I'll start reading it someday. Uh, I also picked up three other trades. Uh, volume ones of three different titles that I've heard a lot of really good stuff about. So uh, volume one of Fear Agent, uh, Rick Remender, and Tony Moore. Uh, heard amazing stuff about that and uh, finally saw a volume one that I could pick up. So uh, at Second and Charles, they always tend to have like volume five and volume seven. Never volume one so finally found that and the same one same thing with this title uh it's been one that i've been really wanting to get into because i love the 
the writer. Um, just haven't haven't found volume one yet. So uh, DMZ volume one uh, on the ground. Brian Wood, I'm a huge fan. Uh, love his stuff, and super stoked to finally have volume one. And then I also picked up this right here, uh, kind of based off of uh, my last haul where I picked up the first color appearance of Madman. Uh, picked up Madman. This is volume the Odyssey. Odyssey. Uh, when I looked it up online, this was like a volume one. So. Um, yeah, pretty stoked about that. So, got that. And then I actually picked up uh, two pop figures this week. I don't usually do that, but um, I saw these, and it's from a movie that just is like top five movies of all time for me. Uh, first saw it <laughs> in science class in like ninth grade. Uh, our teacher didn't feel like teaching that day. And uh, decided to show it to us. And I just instantly just like, that was it. So uh, I got King Arthur Pop from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Let's see if you can see that a bit better. Uh, super awesome. And then I also picked this one up. Uh, I w originally wasn't going to. Uh, Sir Bedivere. Um, eh, glare. There you go. That's a bit better. Um, I originally wasn't going to pick him up, but I found out that Terry Jones, the actor who played Sir Bedivere in the movie, is actually going to be at Motor City Comic Con this year. Now, I don't usually go for media guests. Uh, I, I really don't like paying that much money for someone to sign something for me. Um, but... When's the next time I'm going to be able to see somebody from Monty Python? Most likely, not ever. Um, so, a friend of mine, uh, we're, we've all decided that we're just going to go on Friday. Uh, just a one-day thing. And she looked it up and she found out that he charges $40 for a signature. Now, with the money that I usually take with me... Um, a couple hundred bucks. I think I can spare forty dollars for him to sign that, and I think it'd be really awesome. And then she's actually gonna do the same thing. She uh, she looked up the pricing because she had that pop as well, and she was gonna get it signed. So um, I think we're both gonna do it, and it should be pretty awesome. I'm pretty stoked. So uh, yeah, I'll end up going to Motor City Comic Con this year, <laughs> uh, at least for one day. I don't know. How much I'm going to get into it uh, as far as like having a gigantic haul like I usually have. Most likely that won't happen. But uh, you heard it, heard it here. Uh, I'll, I'll go for for one day and I'll try to get you guys some some video footage and pictures and all that. Nothing quite like the last couple of years because I'm not going to have uh, the posse with me. Uh, but I will end up going and uh, it should be a good time. So. Uh, that's everything I picked up this week. I hope you guys got out to your shops and picked up what you wanted. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>